Peace. What's good? It's on with the show on this end on Saturday, What Really Matters Day. And that will make it the 10th, August 10th, 2013, 422 p.m. Pacific Standard. Out here in the real world at Starbucks. Going to have to keep this one short so I can go ahead and continue on with the rest of my day and enjoy my weekend. Plus, I want to make my job easier. So the moral of the story with this post, our weekly compliments is that this is something I used to do. We used to put this up back in 2011 on a weekly basis, but for whatever reason, kind of got away from it. But today we can go ahead and bring it back because it is something of importance. As I'm looking at the social media sites right now, um, all I really see is people, numerous people, uh, in need of some compliments and that's just a human thing so we can make our job easier by putting the compliment in one centralized location so that people that are in search of one can be sure to find one as a uh, solution to needing or finding a compliment you don't have to fish I say it makes my job simple because even with a small friends list it's pretty uh, expensive to give each and every single person a compliment. It's very time consuming. So today is your weekly compliment and it is to tell you good for you. Is it sincere? Actually it is because number one, if you feel it's sincere, you'll actually come and see what it's about to make sure that it's sincere. You feel that you deserve it somewhere in your being. And number two, if you are the type of person that will get up and go to what it is that you want, well, that shows that you're a go-getter. You get off your ass and you go after what it is that you want and don't sit and wait for it to come and find you. And chances are if you're having success and you're noticing that, it's because you're getting into that habit. And that's what the winners do. So I can congratulate you on that and say good for you keep up the good work and that'll keep you victorious so other than that just out here live and direct at the starbucks on a saturday what really matters day keeping the show moving forward it really ain't nothing to it but to do it and since you're coming to grips with that i'm gonna tell you again sincerely from the heart good for you keep it up keep you at peace Some bonus footage um, I mentioned back in 2011. One thing that I've been remembering or been hoping to remember to mention is sometimes I look at these videos and I say, man, there's like a, a gap tooth or a hole in my tooth. Or, you know, you're supposed to have your, your dentistry and cosmetic straight when you talk on the mic. And I say, interestingly enough, back in 2011, uh, I was being Superman, and I bit into, I uh, forget what it was, but I ended up chipping my top and bottom too. So sometimes when I talk, it makes it look like there's a hole in my mouth, but it's not really something serious like that, or else I would be uh, kind of out of business, but I'm going to have to get that fixed sometime in the near future I don't let small stuff stop me so that's for the people that's really really particular about looks it's really on the inside coming out that has the best effect but I want to put that up just for myself because uh, well that's good for me I can put things together 2 and 2 equals 22 so good for you Ryland uh, you keep the show moving and keep things going in the right direction which is up to the top so that's just some bonus footage. Uh, I used to get compliments on how straight my teeth were and whether or not I used to have braces, which I never have. So things have a funny way of working out in life, but such is it. We're still at peace and we can consider it another victory. <laughs> 